Hey, that's a 9 to pit 4 shadow here. Uh, today's my birthday. I'm 61 years young. Uh, so I take a little trip down uh, the scenic highway. This is a scenic, a registered scenic highway from way, way back then. This is uh, the original 24 highway. This is bypass. It's 224 now. Bypass the 24 highway, which is over that way. And uh, it goes down by little towns of Napoleon, Wellington, and another town before we get to Lexington, Missouri. But uh, I was going to... Uh, down the way here, there's a place called the Pecklewood Club, and it's a little dive. It's been there for eons, and uh, I was lucky enough to eat there 35 years ago, I think it was. I had the pan-fried pan -fried trout, and it's really good, and it was everything you'd expect the place to be, you know, knotty pine interior. It was like a throwback back to the 40s and 50s. It was a hoot. Uh, so, anyway, my little brother's with me, but he's in the and his truck behind me. So we're gonna, when we get down to Lustington, Missouri, we're going to uh, go to a little Irish pub down there and have a, a nice little lunch and head back home. But anyway, uh, Lexington, Missouri, is, there's Wellington. We're in Wellington now. Lexington, Missouri is where a uh, Civil War battle was fought, fought over uh, the course of a few days and uh, parts of the uh, city went back and forth between the Union troops and Confederate troops. Uh, I can't remember to the life of me who the two troops were led by, but uh, I'll get that. I'll get that on film when I get down there, and we're going to take a little side trip over to the battlefield where the Battle of the Hemp Hills was fought. Because uh, Lexington, Missouri, used to be kind of like the the uh, hemp capital of uh, of this parts the United States, I guess, because they grew a lot of hemp and made rope and clothing and all sorts of stuff. Anyway, had a big battle, and uh, they used hemp bales as ramparts uh, for protection, and uh, they can move the hemp bale back and forth for uh, when they need to advance or retreat or whatever. Anyway, I'll get a shot of that, and uh, for right now I want to turn off the camera. Like and, uh, shadow uh, here. Here's the uh, Peckerwood Club that I was talking about. It's in Midiville, and. Uh, I get a little bit closer, but it's I'm shooting right into the sun. But that's the uh, that's the place right there, and I think right back here to the right hand side in the very back is where I was. The dining room is that's where I ate that time I was there. But the place is still standing. It's up for sale. So you know if anybody's interested to buy a piece of history, yeah, you can do it there, right there. See what I mean by coming out of the front door and stepping right onto the road? So, there it is. The Pickerwood Globe in Middyville. I think it's Middyville. Uh-oh. Well, there was a house up there the last time I was by here, but uh, it's kind of like caught fire. So, there's no house there now. So, just the, uh, just the um, restaurant here. Just the Pickerwood Club. So there you go, Packwood Club. Uh, there's the, uh, you know, here we go. There's the Missouri River right there. And about three, four years ago, we had that big flood and uh, all this area right here was underwater up into these houses here. So it's down on its banks now. So I just wanted to show you a quick shot.